Hey, what's up everybody? Ju here from Machinars and in this video I want to show you how I did that cartoony style animation. Let's create this new tutorial and it's a 720p, 29 FPS as always, almost always and I will create a new title. For this animation we have to separate all the letters in the word, in the, the text. I will make a small word because big words takes more time. It's possible, but takes more time. So I will make a small word. Maybe kids, yeah. But we have to separate, so this one is K. And we already set all the parameters for these words. So let's have a different font. And let's align to the middle. I will make it bigger. Even more. And black. This bold and black is the same, I don't know why we have two. I want this character bolder, so I will add the outline. Color white. more, maybe 100, yes, and this text and the outline should be the same color, let's align again to the middle and create this title, now I have the K, and I will create the other letters, don't go too crazy, don't make a big word because you're gonna have lots of work to do, I mean not lots of work because you're gonna do once and then you can copy to the other letters so it's okay if it is a big word also. Let's work here in the K. Oh, it's already in the timeline. Yeah, we wanna create this animation. So let's bring the transform effect. In the transform effect, we want to maybe adjust this size. Wait. It's just a bit smaller. Okay, so let's start to create this animation. This is my end position, so I can go here, this frame one, create a keyframe, and everything is fine here. So we go back to the frame one, and we go a little bit to the left. Everybody move to the left, and then we rotate minus 108. And then we go to the frame 20, create a new keyframe. And here, we rotate only 10. And we keep the same X position from this one, 128. And also this Y position should go to the top. Then we go to the frame 10, it's the middle of these two. And we create a new keyframe. We rotate 125. We keep the same X position from the beginning. 110, 110, and we have something more or less like this. Okay, but when this animation starts, we need to make a pullback. So right here in the frame. 5 is the middle again. We create a keyframe and we go to 170. Our pullback is here. So here. And we pull back. So this one is 72. We go to 90. We go more, maybe 100. Yes, there we go. The X is the same. And here in the frame 15, we want a new keyframe, minus 40. We keep the X, it's 110. And we have our X animation more or less. Okay, from the 10 to 15, almost not changing. My pullback is here, and here, back, down a little bit. 
start to falling. In 25, we create a new keyframe and finish this rotation. And yeah, maybe not yet, with minus one to finish right here. Let's check. You can polish a little bit this animation, but it takes a little bit of time, so I will finish like this. And I know it's a little bit hard to make this animation work perfectly, but if you finish this animation, you don't need to make anything else because you can copy this effect for the other letters, so it's not that hard. And we can have also the blur. Let's bring this box blur. I want to change this background. First of all, because when you use the blur in a white clip or colored clip, you're gonna have a, a dark edge inside of this one and it will mess with our final results. If you want to use color, you have to use, to use the threshold also, but I don't I don't want to use the threshold, so I will make this color black. I should make this in the beginning, but it's okay. And yeah, if you created a big word, you probably have lots of works to do. But you can also just use an effect like tint and, and everything's fine. But don't be lazy guys. Now we need a background because this letter will be missing. Trying to go down. Where am I? Oh, I'm so far from the beginning. Okay, let's see. Now we have our animation and we want this box blur. When the animation starts, we have the pullback and right here, when it starts to move, we want like 10, yeah, it's too much, 5 maybe, I think 5 is fine, in the beginning, let's make it less, when it starts to rotate, like maybe here, I want to go down, just 1, and 3, it rotates, and we start to fall. When it's falling, like here, and you want five, eight, yes, five, and we go down. When it hits the floor, the frame 100, we make zero. Let's check. It's too much right here because it's making a pullback. Like here we create a new one to just to hold one by three. And also here when it starts to rotate, we need to hold create a new one. It's one to three. And it starts to fall. Now we need an alpha shape. And we subtract, oh sorry, not subtract, we minimum. And this alpha shape should go to the top. Oh, sorry, I'm messing, I'm changing the transform. We need to change the alpha shape. Be careful to not mess with the transform. Then we go to the top and right here, let's remove this transition with it. We need to have some space to the letter travel to the top and go back to the bottom. So we check. Like here, it's rotating, it's almost touching the border. So we can make it a little bit bigger. It's fine. And now we, we can add the last transform. And this one, just to control where you want this letter. For example, I want right here so that's fine i want right here it's fine also and for some reason the alpha shape is not working let's check 
Okay, now my animation is starting right here. It cannot start here, it should start outside of this alpha shape. So in the first frame, we go down until disappearing in this alpha shape. The pullback also needs to go down, even more than the alpha shape. Let's hide the alpha shape. So the first one is 300, then this one should be maybe 350, maybe more, 60, just for the pullback. Yes, now we have it. Let's check it again. Okay, and we finish the animation guys, and it's very easy, as you see you have just 4 effects and now you can copy everything for the other letters, let's make it. Let's create a new track, and at first you need to have the same size for all these letters, because we want to copy the effects. Let's make Ctrl C, and then we paste the effects. And I know, the effect is in the same spot, all the letters will appear in the same spot. But you have this transform effect to manage the position, remember? So if I make like this, now they are both side by side. Let's create more tracks. We have five, five letters, right? So let's bring the D. So the same size. We paste the effects and the last letter is the S. Let's just align everything. I have the K, it's our first letter, so I'll bring to the left side. We have the E. We have the D. And we have the S. And this little thing. Okay, now if you play this animation, you have everybody, like a ballet, just jumping together. But, we give maybe 8 frames for each word, maybe for each letter, yeah, 8 frames is okay. Then, we jump 8 frames for each one. Eight frames. You can create a placeholder if you want, I think it's more easy. And for the last one... Yep, everything now is a different animation. Look at that, very nice, huh? As you see, this first letter finished before the other one, so... We create these keyframes only in the beginning. We can extend this clip without any issue. Just extend this one, extend this one also, and this other too. And now we have a complete animation. And that's nice, you just need to add maybe a chiral gradient. Just add a Kyro gradient to the background. I have some colors right here, this blue. And that's it, guys. You just, I don't know, maybe you do the way you like. For me, this is already fine. Really easy animation, really cool. You can have fun, make your titles, I don't know. Uh, as always, guys, don't forget to share and subscribe. Also hit the bell so you don't miss the notification of the new videos. And I see you in the next video.